just gotta begin to chase a dream that is bigger than you. All right, hi everyone, I am Sarah and we're gonna do a 10 minute core fusion workout today. Today's equipment, you're gonna need a mat and some light weights. So we're gonna start today on our back. And we're gonna take our weights and we're gonna put them on either side of our mat so that they're easily accessible, but kind of out of the way. So we're gonna start on our backs and we're gonna hug our knees and give yourself a little rock from side to side. Give yourself a couple little squeezes and really try to sync up your breath with your movement. You wanna make sure that you're exhaling when you contract. So we're gonna take our weights on either hand. We're gonna reach the weight straight up to the ceiling and then take your legs to a reverse tabletop position. So we have a 90 degree angle here. I want you to really try to focus on pressing the lower back to the ground. Imagine that I've super glued your lower back to the ground and we're staying here. So we're gonna start by just tapping the left heel to the ground and then exhale, come back to the center. And then take your right heel and tap it to the ground and then exhale, come back to the center. And this is a really great way to start. And just notice if your lower back is starting to peel away from the floor at all. And then if that happens, then you just don't wanna bring that leg down quite as much. You can go down to about 45 degrees, just make sure that your lower back is staying flat on the ground. And then we're gonna add in arms here. So when the right heel comes to the ground, take your left arm, reach it back with that weight, and then exhale, pull it back to the center. And then we're gonna take the right arm back with the left heel and exhale, pull it back to the center. Pay attention to your lower back. Make sure that it's not peeling away from the floor because we don't wanna injure ourselves. We wanna make sure that we're still engaging the core. Take your time, we inhale to come, extend and exhale to come back. Inhale, extend and exhale, come back. We're gonna do two more each side. Inhale, extend, exhale, pull back. Inhale, extend, exhale, pull back. Give me one more on each side, inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale. Nice work, everyone. We're gonna keep the weights in the same position. Lower your feet to the ground. Press that lower back to the floor. And we're gonna work on exhale. Just curl that tailbone up and slowly lift up one vertebrae at a time until the hips are off the floor in a bridge position. We're gonna chest fly here. Open, close, and then lower down. And this is one we're gonna go for eight. So we're gonna exhale, lift, open, close, and then lower back down. And we go six. For five. And four. Stay with me. And it doesn't matter if your hips come up an inch off the ground or if you can press those hips all the way up. And lift, open and close. Now we're gonna go for an isometric hold here, ready? We're gonna lift it up and hold for the count of five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Set your weights down on either side of your mat and take a deep breath. From here, we're gonna hug the backs of the knees and rock and roll up towards the seat. Now our weights are on either side of our mat. We're gonna grab a hold of our weights in each hand Put your feet down on the ground, and then we wanna hug in the belly and start to lean back to about a 45 degree angle. We have our weights, the chest is lifted, and you're gonna take and rotate and try to tap those weights to the floor and come back to the center. And then we're gonna tap the weights to the other side and come back to the center. So we wanna exhale to twist, but keep that length. Come back to the center, exhale, twist in the other direction, and come back to the center. You almost wanna imagine that each time you come up to the center, we get a little bit taller. We reach up a little bit more. Really try to focus on that twist at the waist, but keep the length in your spine. One more each side. Nicely done. Okay. We're gonna take the weights right out in front of us next, and you're gonna have your weights um, down at kind of a, just a, about a foot distance between them. And we wanna sit up nice and tall crown of the head reaching up to the ceiling, tailbone reaching down, no hands. You're gonna take your left leg, bring it to the center. Take your right leg, bring it to the center. We're gonna hold here, take your weights, press, raise straight up to the ceiling. Sitting up tall, other side. Keep breathing. Make sure that you're sitting up tall, especially when we lift those weights up to the ceiling. 
in, in, and straight up. Keep breathing, in, other side, and straight up. Let's do two more. And if this ever gets to be where you feel like you need a little bit more of a challenge, the simple fix here is you just go up in those weights. The more you wanna challenge yourself, the more that you're gonna grow, but just meet yourself where you're at today. Beautiful, nice job, everyone. We're gonna come onto hands and knees next. And from a tabletop position, you wanna make sure that we're a strong, sturdy table. So you're hugging in that lower belly, you've got an upper ab curl happening here. Imagine that your rib cage is trying to pull down towards your hips. And we're gonna take one weight and bring it on right behind your left wrist. So from here, the weight's on the left side. We're gonna take right leg straight back, inhale, exhale, pull the right knee in towards the chest, really tight. Inhale, extend it back, reach with your left hand, roll that weight straight up. And then we're gonna do it again. Knee in towards the chest, extend back, and row it straight up. Extend in, back, and row. Three more. Exhale, stretch it back, balance. One more. Okay, stay strong, stay with me. We're gonna focus on an isometric hold here, ready? Left arm reaches forward and we balance. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one, nice job. And press it back in a child's pose. Enjoy a little stretch here. Catch your breath. We're gonna move the weight to the other side, right behind the right wrist, and repeat on this side. So before we begin, draw your navel in towards your spine. Left leg goes back, inhale. Exhale, knee in towards the chest, like you're trying to kiss your knee. Back, and then we row. And we pull it in. Extend back and row. Four more. Knee in towards the chest. Exhale. Extend back and balance. Exhale. Find that balance and pull it up. Last one. Exhale. Pull it in. Balance and row. Ready? Isometric hold. Here we go. Extend the right arm forward. Keep breathing. Five. Four, three, two, one. Nicely job, everyone. Come back, find that child's pose. Okay. So we're gonna come into a side plank next. And we're gonna come with a supported side plank. So the bottom knee is gonna be dropped. This is like your little kickstand here. The elbow is right underneath the shoulder. We're pressing the forearm down into the ground and we have one weight in front of us. So we're gonna lift the hips up, scooping those hips up away from the ground. We're gonna open and close. Open and close. So sometimes the hips wanna travel back in space here, and then it's coming out of the core. So try to keep engaging and pressing your hips forward as they lift up away from the ground. Two more, total of eight on this side. Last one. Okay, set the hips down, maintain the same position, lengthen your spine, and then we're gonna lift up the top leg, just the top leg is working. Imagine that you're stretching your booty down towards your heel so that leg is working. And we're gonna take the leg forward and back, just a little tap. Forward and back. Your upper body is still just isolating that movement to the leg. We go four. Three, two, last one. Nicely done. Switching to the other side, grab your weight, bring it with you. Setting up for supported side plank on the opposite side. The elbow's right underneath the shoulder. We wanna make sure that when we're lifting up, we're not hanging out in that joint. You wanna lift up and out of the shoulder. So ready? We're gonna lift it up. The weight's ready right in front of us. And we just simply open and close. Open 
and close. Think about your spine here, nice long spine. We're reaching the booty towards the heel, and we're not making sure that the head's not coming forward. We're nice and long, every inch of the body. Three, two, last one. Okay, set your hips down, but maintain the same position of your body, hand back behind your head. The top leg is working, going forward and back, forward and back. Just a couple inches. Make sure that your torso is not rocking back and forth. And if it is, just make it a smaller movement. You wanna keep it under control and make sure that movement stays in the core. Two, last one. Beautiful, with your weights out of the way, we're gonna end today with a forearm plank hold. Ready? Setting up for forearm plank, I'm gonna interlace my fingers, elbows right underneath the shoulders, press your forearms down like you're trying to make an imprint in your mat, tuck in your belly, and step your feet back. And we're gonna hold for the count of 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop your knees and press back to child's pose. And breathe, let your heart rate start to slow down. Follow this up with the stretches that feel nice for you. I hope you enjoyed your workout today. I'm Sarah, I'll see you next time.